observe the natural world. Entering the kingdom, uh, I would remind you, uh, involves a human being coming into the territory of the animal world. And as much as one wants to observe animals on their own terms, you're coming from civilization, you're marked as human, and you will be regarded by other creatures as something apart, and in this poem, possibly dangerous. So the crows see Mary Oliver coming. Now, she's not one of us. In Renton, Ohio, I'll point out one other thing that I'd like you to, to, to listen for. There is a wonderful evocation at the end of the poem of a snake. And the snake is, quote, it pours itself swift and heavy, pours himself swift and heavy into the ground. And what happens at the very end is a descending scale that starts high in the strings and is sung by each of the voices in turn, all the way from high pitch in the sopranos, all the way down to the bottom of the bass. So, a, a wonderful opportunity for word painting, for giving you an image of that snake pouring himself into the ground. In uh, I Looked Up, I would call your attention to uh, one line that is really quite extraordinary. She writes, what misery to be afraid of death. What wretchedness to believe only in what can be proven. And again, I think that connects us with the, the mystical side of her, uh, of her poetry. Uh, again, pointing to the other, to something that is beyond, uh, whether it be faith, uh, or whether it simply be a rejection of liberalism, a rejection that life consists only of what we can measure and quantify. And that's a theme in a lot of her poetry. It recurs many times. In bats, uh, science, of course, has a lot to tell us about the bat, and in the beginning of the poem, <clears throat> Mary Oliver evokes the scientific explanation of bats, um, and what are some of their characteristics. But the poem, and the poet, warns us that science is only, as she's the golden boat on a dark river. And this is the river of legend, of primeval fears, of nightmare, which gives rise, of course, to, to Dracula and all of that imagery. White Knight does uh, continue to extend the idea from entering the kingdom of the poet's yearning to merge herself with nature, to shed the boundaries of her outsider observer status. And, uh, of course, as I suggested, that merging could ultimately bring death. Uh, there is a wonderful line in the final poem, which I must point out to you, it's, a, it's one of my favorite